Philippians chapter 3. Let's begin this morning at verse 17 and read through the rest of the chapter. As always, thank you so much for, for joining me. The Bible says, Brethren, join in following my example and observe those who walk according to the pattern you have in us. For many walk, of whom I've often told you and now tell you even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their appetite, whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory by the exertion of the power that he has even to subject all things to himself. There were some, just as there are some today, who are unwilling to imitate the apostles' example, to imitate Timothy and Aphrodite's example as they were brought to light in this chapter, unwilling to count all things as lost in light of what lies ahead for us. Paul with sorrow in his heart, he, he speaks of those whom he describes as enemies of the cross. Those who refuse to deny themselves, refuse to die to self. Uh, the cross, no doubt, an emblem of suffering and shame on our behalf that our Lord will, was willing to humbly endure for us. These enemies of the cross, they want no part of that example. And note Paul says, they're in, make no mistake about it, they're in is destruction. And I'll just remind us here, every path has a destination. They're idolaters, Paul says. They live for the flesh. They indulge their fleshly desires. And they glory in shameful things. Their glory is their shame, Paul says. Their minds are set on earthly things. These are carnal-minded people. Paul describes the person here whose home is here. But then he says in verse 20, and I just want to read it again as we close. For our citizenship, listen to this, brethren. For our citizenship is in heaven from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory by the exertion of the power that he has even to subject all things to himself. As I read that, I can't help but think about the song that we sing in our books, number 715, This World is Not My Home. I'm just passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. They're all expecting me and that's one thing I know. My savior pardoned me and now I onward go. I know he'll take me through though I'm weak and poor and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just up in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their songs of sweetest praise drift back from heaven's shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I, I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Our citizenship, brothers and sisters in Christ, it's not here. It's in heaven. Let's act like it. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, for this day, we are so thankful. Father, your mercies truly are new every morning. Father, you continue to bless us in spite of our frequently turning our backs on you, turning from you, sinning against you. And Father, we recognize this. And we repent of the sin in our lives and determine to do better for your mercy, for your forgiveness, for your son that makes all of this possible. Father, we are so thankful. Father, be with all of those who are hurting. Be with the sick. Father, we especially ask you at this time to be with our sister Ellie, be with our sister Jenny, Father, we pray that you would be with little Savannah. She has many obstacles and difficult days lie ahead. Be with Sonny, be with Lee, be with David and Olivia. 
Erica, the entire family, as they stand with her. Bless them as only you can. Bless us this day, Father. Be with all the many in our number who are hurting. Be with our brother Jimmy. Be with the friends and family of all those who are hurting. Father, bless us. In Jesus' name we pray.